Hello, welcome to Rybrook Jaguar in Warrington. Jason Courtney speaking. Here we have for you today a Jaguar XF. This is a 2.2 200 Sport Sport Brake. And as you can see, the registration number is ML13TAV. This is a Demo Plus One and has covered only 21,684 miles. Uh, it's had two services here at Rybrook Jaguar in Warrington. And as you can see, there is some damage on the front of this car, which I will show you in a second. So we'll start off as we always do on the offside front wheel. As you can see, that wheel is pretty much perfect. Just let you know, we have got four brand new tyres on this car, which were covered under warranty. So it's got four brand new tyres. They literally haven't even done a mile yet. So uh, look at that offside front wing. That seems pretty much fine. Looking down the side of the car, again on this driver's side, there's no issues there. Also on that offside rear quarter as well. Seems to be fine. We've got a little, very small scratch there, but that should polish out. Again, that rear tyre is brand new. And again, that wheel is absolutely perfect. Looking down the side of the car, we can't see any dents or anything. Looking at the back of the car, we have got one or two slight marks on this rear bumper. As you can see there, we've also got a chip on the rear boot lid and also just above the rear light as well. There is a very small, about an inch, uh, sort of uh, uh, almost a, quite a deep scratch. So again, it will need some smart repair on that rear bumper and on the boot lid as well. Uh, at the moment the rear camera isn't working because of the damage on the front of the car so but it has got a reversing camera and front and rear sensors as well look at this near side rear quarter we have got quite a long scratch on that quarter as you can see there it, it isn't too deep but you can just just about feel it with your fingernail so i'm pretty sure that that will need to be painted near side rear wheel again perfect and like i say that is a brand new rear tire as well on the near side rear door, we have got one or two, again, light scratches as you can see there. It is just a slight indentation as well, but it is only very, very slight. Most of those, I think, will buff out. But like I say, you will need to paint that rear section and it just goes into the door a little bit as well. Look at the near side door, that seems absolutely fine. As does that near side front wing. Again, you can see brand new tire on the front there. And again, that will pretty much perfect apart from needing a good clean. So look at the front of the car, this is where the damage is. It is only a low speed impact damage, but as you can see, we have broken the grill. So the grill and the grill throw is broken. Obviously the front bumper is broken as well. And obviously you can see that there is some damage on that front bumper as well. So it is got cracked and it has been pushed in slightly as well. You can just see that it isn't perfectly lined up. Obviously I'm, I'm here as well. So if it was me, I think I would probably be tempted maybe to put a new front bumper on it and a new front grill. I think certainly after that, it will be pretty much perfect. Looking at the bonnet now, we've got one or two very, very minor stone chips. Again, seriously, nothing major. I think if you were going to put a brand new bumper on, which you may or may not need to do, uh, I think I'd probably be tempted maybe just obviously to blow into the bonnet and the wings anyway. So uh, on the outside, it will be pretty much perfect. So we'll have a look on the inside now. With it being the 2.2 Sport, we do have the half leather, half suede trim. And as you can see, those seats are really good condition. So those seats are absolutely fine. We do have the overmats in as well, so which is good. And just to let you know, we do also have both keys. So both keys are present with this car. So we'll start the car up. So to show you the exact mileage on the car. So the exact mileage is 21,684. And as you can see, there are no warning lights on the car. As I say, when we put the car into reverse, we're not getting the camera operating properly because they're, they're obviously because of the slow, the small amount of impact on the front bumper. And obviously that has affected the parking sensor. So at the moment, the parking sensors, parking sensors aren't working, I beg your pardon. So obviously that needs to be looked at. As you can see, we do have the full satellite navigation system. So we've got full satellite navigation. We do also have, DAB radio as well, so we've got full DAB. Obviously it's automatic, which it's the eight speed auto with the paddle shift gear change as well. We've got Bison on headlights, we've got Bluetooth, we've got cruise control with automatic speed limiter. So like I say, it's a very good spec car. USB connector as well. Like I say, it's the gloss black trim on the inside as well. So actually on the inside, it needs a good clean to be fair. Apart from that, it hasn't been smoked in, so it will make a very nice car. Obviously it just needs repairing of the, uh, the front bumper. So as you can see, we've got the registration document. So for ML13 TAV, and like I say, it was originally one of our demonstrators here at Rybrook Jaguar in Warrington. So good service history. So we've got two stamps, again, both done here. The last stamp was done on the 21st of April, 2015. And that was its last service, which was done at 16,189 miles. So it is due for service this month. So obviously, again, just to bear that in mind, and obviously it is due for its first MOT. So if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to give me a call back. I'm on 01925 247 900. And thanks for watching.